Okay, this is my first video I've ever made, but it's going to be on Diablo 2 NT Diablo Bot for Diablo 2. And here I'm going to help you how I'm going to help you get it set up. You got to open the folder, copy your JS32 file, and put it in your system32 file, which you could find in your usually in your C drive and then go to Windows scroll down to system32 right there and just paste it here already have it here so alright once you get that done go to scripts go to libs and go to config and then you're gonna have to type in your name of your character, like maybe I bought underscore hardcore, something like that. I mean, that's not my name. My name is JSR, so I put JSR there. Have to spell it correctly, or else it won't run it. Alright, click on that. Open it with Notepad, by the way. And to make it run something, say you want to run Andy, which is right here under Act 1 Bosses take these two checks away file save now my bot will run Andy and if there's any missing checks like say you want it to run Mephisto take this away put it back if you don't want it to then save it that's all you do if you want it to run public take this right here and say true and now then save it when you're done and now it'll run public bail runs um, your mercenary if you want it to use a mercenary type true make sure there's one space right there true, not gonna work um, this is for your inventory all the zeros it'll keep it'll just like say because I, I have a bunch of 20 to life small charms like all these are 20 to life small charms so it'll keep all those in my inventory, then my torch, my Annie, and then uh, like my tombs and stuff. And you put a four there for the four columns that are open. One, two, three, four. Four full columns that are open. Four, and those are what it'll pick up and it has room to keep. And it'll identify them. If it's good, it'll keep it, put it in your stash. If not, whatever. Um, you can set it to auto gamble when you get full right here true it'll auto gamble for you and it'll gamble down to the amount of gold blah 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 um, this is your attack configuration most people mess up on this I can help you if you need help just ask um, 113 that's your aura obviously primary spells 112 um, I'll show you where you find those go, to, go back to your uh, libs config and then go to skill IDs scroll down to where it says paladins these numbers are what they stand for 113 concentration 112 busted hammers for my hammer did alright once you get all that done your bot should run and if not just message me or something and I'll get it set up go back to your main page and then go to D2NT manager, the one that looks kind of like a gearhead. Double click on that. This would be empty. And you go add. You don't have to type anything specific. I just type in that. Auto detect, position one. That's my character, wherever your character is. Say it's the fourth character you made, it'll be number four. Um, US West is what I use. Just leave it closed, Battle.net. It'll do open. Account name. That's my account name. Room and password. JSR. Blah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Then hit OK. And, oh yeah. And if you want it to run public, just leave that blank and it won't do a password. And then hit save. And now it'll always be there. Just hit run type in your password and it should work and if it doesn't it's probably because the scripts messed up 
for your bot and if you need help I can help you I'm not doing any of this it's doing it all on its own you can minimize go do whatever you want minimize mode no hide and then open that up and boom now it's just running um, with the items go to scripts go to settings then go to elite open it with word pad or notepad this is all the items it'll keep there's a bunch in here I mean I'm not gonna take all the time to go through this but just telling you just remove that little semicolon thing if you want it to keep an item if you don't want it to keep it put a semicolon in front of it and it won't keep it alright that should get you going on exactly how to use a Diablo 2 in T-Bot see he's auto gambling right now because I don't really have him on auto gamble usually that's why he has 2.4 mil in the bank but yeah that should help you good luck with your bot and thank you for watching